four, four bloody exercises that messed me up and put me out of the gym for a considerable amount of time. You wanna know what the hell they are? Gabriel, cue the intro. What's going on guys, Gabriel Say, aka The Truth, back with another Teach Me Tuesday, that's what's up. Just before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this type of content, it's the only way that I know that you like it. Here are the four exercises, bench press, dips, upright row and squats. Here's why. Two words for you, internal rotation. Now we all know that I don't like to bog you down with a scientific kind of, oh, and if you look at the sine wave of the shoulder and then the obtuse angle of the forearm, you'll see that the analytical, dead that. So internal rotation, what am I talking about? Internal rotation of the shoulder. Internal rotation of the shoulder. Do you hear what I mean? You know when I said on the bench press that you want to pin your shoulder blades back? Bring your shoulders down like that. So down and pin your shoulder blades back. So that doesn't happen. That's the internal rotation. You're probably thinking, but Gabe, you've got all these videos where you're talking about this is how you improve your bench press. This is how you do improve your bench. Mm. So let the, first of all, let's look at a person with long arms, myself, compared to a person with short arms. And you'll see a big difference. The range of motion that I am allowed, when I get to the bottom of the lift, when I go to touch my chest, if it's not in the right alignment, in the right place, shoulder, internal, rotation, messes me up every time. But I wasn't thinking this back then. Now you're probably asking, well, but what is all of this internal rotation, internal rotation? That's all I keep hearing you saying, Gabe. Internal bloody rotation, because it's important. When your shoulders go into a position of internal rotation is the most vulnerable point of the shoulder. So, point? Position, that's a better word, position. The most vulnerable position of the shoulder. So here's the rule of thumb. You don't want to load with heavy weight an internally rotated shoulder. Does that make sense? So I know, uh, the, what was the last vid the video that I did? Well, I was talking about lateral raises and I was talking to people about turning the, f the wrist in. So you're hitting the lateral head and then the, the keyboard warriors came on, you know, oh Gabe, but you're internally rotating the shoulder and then that's gonna cause a pain. <laughs> you all piss me off sometimes. Under heavy load. I am not going to do a lateral raise with a flipping 50 kg dumbbell, am I? You're going to pick a weight that's lighter because that's all that that flipping muscle can take. And you're not internally rotating the shoulder because you're not doing this. You're going up and just a little twist at the top, just to just to hit the lat lateral head. There. <sighs> Lost my head a little bit, but I'm back. Sorry about that. So going back to the bench press. If we look at the fact that my arms are already long, so especially when I go down to the bottom, uh, bottom position of the bench, I have a risk of internal rotation of the, of the shoulder. Then add the fact that I used to bench press like dog poop all the time, like this, which already is in a position of internal rotation as opposed to this. There. So I'm benching like this with me long arms Snap city, here I come on the first class train, yeah! But then you're probably thinking, but Gabe, you mentioned dips and upright rows and squats. How did the internal rotation affect those? <laughs> well, Jimmy, <laughs> I'ma tell you right now. Let's have a look at dips. I used to do a lot of bench dips. I'd, I'd get the, the bench behind me and I'd load up like, remember I, I used to put like 520 plates. <coughs> 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 Snap, 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 snap city. That already, when you're like that, in that position, internal rotation. Then I move to the parallel bars. You know when something just doesn't feel right and you're just doing it because your training partner's doing it or they've said, you should do it too. They're loading up weight and then they probably got, well, for me, they had shorter arms than me. It's just, it didn't make sense for, for me to be doing it because I felt pain. Not, oh, this is sore. Pain, pain, pain. <laughs> but I kept on doing it. Started getting the sternum like crack, like it just felt like my whole chest was gonna split open like a scene out of Alien or something. Like that. <laughs> <sighs> Bit graphic. But I should have stopped doing it because even when I was using the parallel bars, there was still, I don't know what it was, something I should really just go back and look at my form and see what it is. But I haven't done dips for a while and I feel it straight in the shoulders like instantly. Machine ones are all right though. Machine dips, I'm good with those. Then upright rows. 
Upright rows, this is the most obvious one. Check this. As soon as you go to pick up the bar, your shoulders round forward into an internal rotated position. Then, with heavy weight, you're trying to keep a slow, oh, I can feel that <laughs> right now. You're trying to keep a, a really strict rep. A better thing to do would be to maybe go a little bit wider or use the easy bar so you can at least pinch back a little bit and use a tiny bit of momentum so you're not putting strain from, from the get-go. So it's not, like if you think about it, if you're pulling from there, it's all the strain's going there, like right into the rotating. Well, I'm pointing to where the pain is that I can feel whenever I do this. So it's going right in there. But if I use a little bit of momentum, then I bypass that a little bit. I Rope is a little bit better because you can, you can pin back a little bit, but the bar, where you're around, <laughs> haven't done that in a while. And then squats. Squats is the only one that has nothing to do with internal rotation. This was literally purely for the fact that I was just, I was scared of going deep. I was like, I was scared of going balls deep. The old way in. I was scared. So I used to do these quarter squats because it fed my ego. You know, you do these little, little ones, load up loads of weight and you can do these little ones. And then people that don't really know what the hell they're talking about, they go, oh my God, mate, that's bloody amazing. And then you're sitting there like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's garbage. Disclaimer here. If you see people doing pin squats from a quarter squat position, or they're doing box squats from a quarter squat, quarter, quarter squat position, they are most likely track and field athletes. So if you see these people, and they've got either the, they're starting from the pin or they're starting from a box and they're doing quarter squats, stop trolling. Because the main reason why quarter squats are so bad and why they damage me is because I was doing them with no pins, no box. General science me mechanics behind the squat. When you go down into a squat, you then need to um, control the force down and then bring the force back up, right? If you're quarter squatting, that point at which you then need to change direction, sheer force going straight through your knee. Boom, ouch. Do that long enough, knee problem. And I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it, but that was me. The only way that I feel that you guys can learn is if you hear mistakes that I've personally made or I've seen people close to me make. I can, I can spout off all kinds of stuff. I was like, oh, you shouldn't do this. This is a huge mistake. You shouldn't do this. Because like sit on my high horse or whatever. No, I've done this. I've, I've lived it. I'm wearing the, not physically wearing the t-shirt right now, but I have a lot of those t-shirts. You know what I mean? But that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. Hope it enlightened you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a little comment. Hello Gabe, how you doing? Don't forget to like the video, smash the ting, yeah? Smash the ting. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Whipping excursion. I got a pick of that person. In the trap, keeping that working. You know a gangster, you're just an internet version.